We already talked about Donald Trump's tweet where he falsely claims that he's already seeing some problems and discrepancies with mail-in ballots, also claiming that we must see the total vote on November 3rd. Uh, now he's saying that if we don't actually get the final results, see all of the votes totaled by November 3rd, that that may actually be illegal. It would be very, very proper and very nice if a winner were declared on November 3rd instead of counting ballots for two weeks which is totally inappropriate, and I don't believe that that's by our laws. I don't believe that. Well, it doesn't matter what you believe, it's perfectly legal, and the only reason why he's saying this is because he's trying to stack the deck in his favor. So if most of his supporters come out to vote in person, and most people uh, voting for Democrats come through mail-in ballots, maybe he gives himself a little bit of an advantage. But ask yourself this, why do we even see uh, winners declared on election nights at all? Does that mean that they declare a winner when the total vote has been counted? No. They declare a winner because data analysts at these large networks, they basically uh, make a prediction. It's, you know, an intelligent prediction, but it is a prediction nonetheless. They say we predict that this person wins because assuming that, you know, California goes to the Democrat and uh, Alabama goes to Republicans, then with these states, now that we know who won or we know who appears to win in the state, we can say that this person reached that magic 270 number. So with mail-in ballots, this complicates things. We're in a pandemic. So to make this demand, like, it is very obvious what he's trying to do. And for more on this, we go to Common Dreams, who explains it is, in fact, perfectly legal for states to count ballots for weeks after the election. Some states allow mail-in ballots to arrive up to two weeks after November 3rd, as long as they are postmarked by Election Day. Due to the unprecedented surge in mail-in voting sparked by the pandemic, the process of tallying ballots and determining the election winner is expected to take longer than usual. Progressive critics and election analysts have long been warning of a nightmare scenario in which Trump falsely declares himself the winner on November 3rd based on an early lead in in-person votes and proceeds to declare all votes counted after Election Day illegitimate. The president's comments Tuesday bolstered those fears. Donald Trump is planning to do everything he can to make sure your vote doesn't count. Progressive advocacy group Indivisible, part of a coalition planning mass protests should Trump attempt to steal the election, set in response to the president's remarks Tuesday, which came hours after the conservative-dominated U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the battlegrounds of Wisconsin cannot extend its election day deadline for the arrival of mail-in ballots. In his concurring opinion in the case, Trump nominated Justice Brett Kavanaugh parroted the president's attack on the common state practice of counting ballots that arrive after election day, a possible indication that Kavanaugh is, as Slate's Mark Joseph Stern put it, open to stealing the election for Trump. The implications of Kavanaugh's reason could reach beyond Wisconsin. As Stern pointed out on Twitter, North Carolina Republicans are already citing Kavanaugh's argument to justify their own push for the Supreme Court to limit the state's absentee ballot deadline. Brett Kavanaugh's stunning opinion last night should be a huge story today, said Stern. It casts aspersions on mail ballots. It's riddled with errors. It endorses a theory too radical for the Bush v. Gore majority. It's a preemptive attack on our elections in integrity. So what we see is Donald Trump, the right-wing Supreme Court, and Republicans across the country currently laying the groundwork to steal this election by making sure that any votes that come in after election day are invalid, disenfranchising potentially millions of Americans who don't want to risk their lives by voting in person because of the pandemic. But now, since Trump is doing this, he's basically forcing people, if they want to make sure that their votes get counted on election day, to vote in person. I mean, this is just, it's despicable. Even if Donald Trump isn't able to steal the election, what he's doing here, by basically forcing people's hands, getting them to vote in a pandemic when mail-in voting is an option in their states, it's just... It's morally reprehensible because he wants to steal this fucking election. Like anyone who supports this and votes for him. They have to admit they don't care about democracy. If you are supporting a president who is saying all votes that come in after midnight on November 3rd are invalidated automatically because they're late, just admit you don't care about democracy. You want to live in a dictatorship. Because it is not under anyone's control if they mail in their ballot 
even though they get it filled out before the third and it doesn't arrive on time. That's not something that they can control. So because Donald Trump is impatient at best and wanting to steal the election at worst, we have to invalidate those ballots? This is just, it's infuriating. Just when you think Trump can't get any lower, be any more outrageous, he does the unthinkable. So this is him and Republicans trying to make sure, get all their ducks in a row to steal this election. Now, we've already talked at length about the plethora of things Trump's legal team can do to actually steal this election. And now that he has the federal judiciary and the Supreme Court on his side unequivocally, he can get away with remaining in power even if he doesn't win this election outright. We're not just talking about the popular vote. We are talking about him even losing the Electoral College, but rat-fucking this election. So individual states controlled by Republicans can get their own electors to vote for Donald Trump, even if their state sides with Biden, votes for Biden. So this election, I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm bracing for disaster. I'm preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. If Joe Biden wins decisively, then all of our fear fears are unwarranted. But um, we have to be prepared. I would rather over-prepare and be, you know, over-worried than not be prepared for something like this. But if this happens, then this really is an attack on democracy directly. And Republicans will get away with it. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.